Hey everybody, I'm at the boat launch today on the Schoharie Creek and I'm so excited to show you the van because we are in the full swing of summer and the van is set up for us to go to shows and to possibly sleep into if we need to. So I just wanted you to see in its full glory. So come on. We'll go in through the entrance that I call the school bus entrance. If you ever took a school bus, this was the door that would open when you would get on and the school bus driver would be there. There's some stairs for us. We'll go up. The first thing that is right here though is some cleaning products and the garbage can. Not too romantic, but necessary. And then you have the cockpit area. You've got your basic napkins, clock, under there is hand sanitizer all kinds of things for while you're driving and here we turn the corner and ta-da it's the beautiful beautiful van the lights are on right now because the door was open they do go off in time as we enter is the couch slash bed and if you've seen some of my other videos you know that this bed has two parts to it this is the other part right here and that is the, what we call the second bed, and it fits right in this aisle area when we turn the cooler around. So it's fab. I should mention that the bed is 14 inches high. This leg is 14 inches high, and that leaves lots of space for storage underneath. So important and very convenient. For anyone who's curious, I have... Um, some padding on there. This is a gymnasium padding. Very inexpensive. It comes six pieces to a package. And then I have some camping pads. These would be divided among the two beds, so you really only need half of these to be comfortable. Across from the couch area is the famous sink area. Again, another video that I made was a plumbing video. This has been so great. Down here is the plumbing behind all this. I have a gray water tank and a fresh water tank and a marine foot pump and a drain pipe and then water that goes up to the faucet. And I will demonstrate the water. I'm going to be pumping with my foot so the camera may get a little wiggly, but here goes. You just pump with your foot and out comes the water. Goes down the drain just like in real life. <laughs> Above the kitchen table is a contraption that I put together. It's another table. You can see this is the leg of it. And it's basically a table on a table. And it creates a shelf, which I keep clear for to load things in when we go traveling. And this is a box that can be for odds and ends, etc. And something else I discovered is because it's so close to the ceiling that uh, it's pretty warm up there. So I have on occasion put some a damp piece of clothing on here and it dries very quickly. So I guess this also doubles as a clothes dryer. Below the kitchen area is the food storage area. I have a little cooler and a big cooler. I, You can put ice in there. I found every three days the ice will melt in one day, but the water stays that the ice melted into stays cold for several days. And that's helpful. And after the kitchen area is the passenger area. Very luxurious with a set of pockets to store things. This is an extra fresh water tank. And below the passenger area is the battery. I think I might have talked about this in another video. This battery, the brand is Jackery. And you can plug in uh, USBs to it. You can plug in 12 volt or you can plug in a regular plug. At the end of the couch is a gray box. And inside the gray box is an emergency toilet. It, you know, it's very personal discussion, I guess. It's a five gallon jug, five gallon container, and a, you would put a plastic bag in there and you put kitty litter in it. And you're basically pretending you're a cat, I guess, in the kitty litter. 
I also have a spray in there that uh, neutralizes toilet smells, I guess is what you want to call it, for kitty litter boxes and stuff like that. If you want to know more about this toilet, I'll be glad to tell you. You just have to message or comment below and I will tell you more of the details. Again, a five gallon bucket, plastic bag, kitty litter, and disposing of the plastic bag and the kitty litter is perfectly legal in garbage cans. And you may have noticed the plant, which really loves it in here. This, all of this is new growth. It's, it's like crazy new growth that was never did like that before. And I think it's because it's warm in here. In the, if you park in a parking lot in the sun, it will be warm in the top layer of this van. Behind the plant is a shelf that I devised. It holds blankets and uh, bedding. And the shelving is made of these three shower curtain rods, tension rods. And they rest on this plastic um, lining, I guess it's called. So in addition to the tension of the tension rods, you also have a little ledge here for the uh, shelf, the rods to rest on. So that was a really good fluke about the van. And I hold things in place, as you can tell, with a million bungee cords uh, forward, backward, and to the side. This shelf is a good example of being creative with what's in your vehicle. You may have noticed some of these things on the side. This was a wheelchair van, and these were seat belts and things. And this can be used if I need a clothesline. I can attach it from there across to this table. There's all sorts of features that a person can use. The kitchen is exactly perfectly in between these poles that you hold on to and I have some things lashed to them. So if you have a van and you don't want to use lumber and all that, that you can just build it using some of the features that might be in there. Something that I've devised is a shower setup. These three hooks is where you would hook one of the shower curtains. This, this is These hooks I found by accident, they move up and down, which is kind of cool. And then on the opposite side, I have more of the hooks. And then up here is where you hang the shower bag. It's a solar shower bag that, it's one of those black bags that has a shower spigot to it. I think they cost about $10. And so you set up your shower curtains and on the floor you put a dog pool. I have a video called the five best showers for camping or for in a van. The dog pool goes right down there. It's an accordion type pool and it, it, it folds up into a small cube and you can make it any shape you want, oval or whatever, and then you just quickly rinse yourself off with the shower bag and then you pick up the dog pool and you can either um, drain it in the woods outside or if you have in if you're desperate you can put it into your gray water tank i only use biodegradable soap and uh, environmentally friendly soap so that works out great also behind the plant is the storage area for the music show stuff and i will go around the back and show you what it's like Open the back doors here. This table is the newest addition. I got this table because of my patrons on my Patreon, and I am so grateful. It has made a huge, just a big, big advantage. That means that this back area now has two levels that we can keep stuff on or underneath or to the side. The legs of the table act as a support for things like our wooden tables or our stools. This is a little first aid kit that was here when I got the van. It is empty right now. I was afraid to open it for a while because I didn't know what would be in there or like melted band-aids or ointment or something like that. But it is empty and I should I guess fill it with more first aid stuff. That's the grand tour of the van. It's all set up for camping and touring. And if there's anything more you think it might need, I'd be glad to hear about it in the comments below. 
It's pretty much like home sweet home right now. It could be considered what they call a self-contained van, which means you really would never have to leave the van for 24 hours or so. You have everything you need in there. One thing that isn't in there that you may have noticed would be a stove or cooking apparatus. I don't really feel comfortable cooking with any kind of flame or propane or anything in the van. They, that creates a bunch of details and issues that are kind of dangerous. I suppose if we were camping in a campground, we could start a fire or maybe carry a camping stove or something like that. Still, you've got the propane. You know, it's kind of making the decision what you want to do and what you feel comfortable with. We're, uh, this is, we're all set up to go and so much of it is because of you and my patrons and everyone who supports what I do and, and supports the van and everything. So thank you so, so much. I'm so grateful for it. It allows me to do my work. It allows me to move forward and go to shows and all sorts of things. So thank you so much. Be sure to tell me what you think about all this stuff in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do and like the video and share it. So I look forward to seeing you out at the shows. My show calendar is on my website, cosbygibson.com. So if you want to come out to the shows, it'd be great to see you. In the meantime, I think I'll show you a little bit of the Schoharie Creek because it's really pretty. In any case, have a great day. Bye bye everybody. Look, a lucky feather.